Welcome to a quest for metal and welcome to another tier list. Today, by popular demand, we are ranking Wolves in the Throne Room from my least favourite all the way to my favourite in a tier list setting. You guys voted for it and I'm here to d -d 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 deliver. So yeah, they don't have a lot of albums, but they do have a lot of good ones. So let me, I know Satanic in the chat is going to go fucking mental. <laughs> He's like, fucking hate this band. Rah. But a lot of people like them and I like them. I think they're pretty good. Good atmosphere, good melodies, and I've seen them live, and they put on a good show. Um, I saw them play with At The Gates and Behemoth, and they were fantastic, so I enjoy most of these albums. There's obviously a least favourite and obviously a favourite, and when you get to them, I'm going to do it in order as well. So before I get started with this tier list, let me know down below how you would rank these albums, what's your favourite, what's your least favourite, and do you even fucking like them? Let me know, and let's get started with my least favourite, which... Celestite, 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 however you say it, is my least favourite. Not a real shocker, you know, it's not a real shocker that this is my least favourite. It is a more ambient album. No lyrics, no vocals, no screaming, no real metal. Just, just ambience, and it's nice. It has it. It has its place and time if you just want something to relax to but to me i find normal black metal relaxing enough as it is so this ah, there's no need for it i can listen to like any of the other albums and they do the same kind of job so for me it's the one i'm gonna pick least anything where it's like an album album is the one i'm gonna pick least it's just it's the way it rolls it's how questy rolls but yeah meh meh c tier moving on next we have um, Thrice Woven. Yes. This one is a is a good album. Although, when I was trying to get into Wolves in the Throne Room, this is the album I kept trying to listen to because it was the newest one. Um, yeah, I didn't get into them early. I got into them quite late. It was when this album came out. I was listening to it, and I was kind of like, it's good, but it's not fantastic. Like, I don't see the hype um, around the band because there was a big hype around the band. And this album didn't really do much for me, and re-listening again uh, before this tier list, it's still not my favourite. Um, I enjoy it because it's black metal, I enjoy every single black metal album and every single black metal band, but this one wouldn't be high on my picking list. It's fine, it, 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 that's it, it's fine, that's why it's in C tier, I do not hate it, I don't think it's amazing. I know Metal Trenches did one recently and he had this like fucking like way, way up high for me, not my cup of tea, it's fine. Eh, a bit overly... Some of the passages are a bit overly long. Eh. Next up onto B tier. That's right, the only C tier is this one, the rest being above, which is good. These are good ones, okay? So here we're going to go with Primordial Arcana, which is the latest one by Wolves in the Throne Room. Now, this one, when I listened to it, instantly hooked me. The melodies instantly grabbed me. I was like, hell yeah, this is the best one they've done. This is insane. And it was in my videos last year, whenever it came out, of like one of the best of the month and all that shit. On re-listening, it's dropped down a little bit. Obviously, it's not the best. I was just hyping it up because that's what happens when new things get released. It's like, oh my god, it's the best. Really? Is it? Is it the best? Not really. Um, suffers similar problems to Fry's Woven, but I think the melody is just way better and the songwriting's better. So for me... It's a better album. It's going higher. Now, next to it, Celestial Lineage, which I actually prefer. So, this is going to go there. Some people don't like this album. Some people say it's not very good. For me, this grabbed me, like, right away, and it still grabbed me today. Like, some of the riffs on here and some of the, some of, like, the mood on it, fantastic. I don't know why people dislike this album, so put down in the comments, why is this album disliked? To me... It's fucking fantastic, and it's way better than Primordial, and way better than Fry's Woven, and some of this other shit. Fast Questy, Sonic, calm down, calm down. I love it. I'll, I'll defend it. I think it's a fantastic album, and I will play it to death, because it's that good. So it'll be like a B-plus kind of tier, uh, but we're not going to be pussies and stop putting pluses and stuff. Just in a B. Let's move on to A. So A tier, what's going to be here? Let's throw two hunters here. Oh my god. That should be a favourite, Questy. What are you doing? It's the best album they've done. It is a fantastic album. That's why it's an A. That is why it's an A. 
Um, it's very moody. It's like the best of both worlds. It's the best of the aggressive stuff. It's the best of the moody stuff. It's like all mixed into one. But I think one album does it a bit better. In fact, one album has a bit more of a punch and a bit more, I don't know, ferocity, which is why these two here are last. Last? As in last to go on the list, so they'll be first. You know what I'm trying to say. Questy. Words. Um, I like the aggressive stuff, the kind of early stuff, more. And these two are like some of the heaviest ones we've done, and I, I love that. But this one is a great best of both, so I can understand why it's the fan favourite. I understand why it's the best. The best. For me, it's not my favourite, though. And this is a subjective list, so all your objective cunts can fuck off. This is my list. But yeah, A tier. And coming in next, ooh, Diadildo over 12 stars. I don't know how to say it. Diadem? Is it Diadem? How do you actually say that? Anyway, the debut by this band is underrated as fuck. Holy shit, this has this raw atmosphere and raw energy that isn't like any of the other albums. They've not replicated this. It has this uniqueness about it, which just, and it stands on its own. I'm tempted to make an S tier and just throw it in there. You know what? You know fucking what? We will do that on the fly right now. That's how we roll. S tier. Debut. Raw energy, ferocity, and I would easily, I could easily put it favourite, but for me, Black Cascade is my favourite. I mean, when I looked at that album cover, I was just thinking, like, this is dark and, like, eerie and the swirling mist or whatever the fuck is going on there is just, it's speaking to me, and it did. This is the most ferocious album, aside from the debut. It has these hard-hitting moments. It also has some softer moments as well and some melodic stuff. But it just does everything better, in my opinion. It just does everything better. The ferocity, the mood, the melancholy, everything all rolled into one. Black Cascade is my favourite. Um, 200 is, is fantastic as well. You know, a lot of people would swap these, probably. But for me, Black Cascade has always been my favourite, and it always fucking will be. So that is my tier list for Wolves in the Throne Room. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Blah, 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 blah. Let me know down below in the comments, and what do you want me to rank next? There's so many bands. I haven't done Panopticon. You know, I haven't done Grand Blau's Key. Completely polar ends of the <laughs> spectrum right there. You know, Horner, Sargeist, fucking Sacramentum. There's too many bands to do. Too little time. Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another quest. For metal.